Hello and welcome to Tech by Tosh. My name is Toshit and in this video we will learn about how to use PowerPoint Live for your presentations in Microsoft Teams and making use of annotation tools to better engage with your audience. Let's check it out. I am currently into Microsoft Teams meeting and to use PowerPoint Live we have to share some content. Let's just go ahead and click on share content icon. So this time instead of selecting and sharing a screen or a window we'll go down to PowerPoint Live. I'll click on browse my computer to select a new presentation deck and select the presentation to present. So I now have my presentation within Microsoft Teams. I can see a lot of different things on this screen. I can see notes next to all the slides. I can click on the slides down the bottom and I can see notes uh, for those slides. So while I'm presenting, I can read out those notes. All these notes and this view is not visible to all my participants. They only see the slides. So I have John Smith as a participant in the meeting. Let's just go and have a look what John Smith can see. So this is the screen where I am logged in as John Smith. As John Smith or a participant in the meeting, I can see the slides that my presenter is presenting. I can also click on the slides. So I have an option to go through the slides. If a presenter is presenting a different slide and I have missed something on, that sl on, on a previous slide, I can quickly go back to that slide and see what my presenter has presented. As a viewer, as a participant, I also have an option to take control of the slide. Now this really works out if you have two presenters in the meeting. To go back to what my presenter is currently presenting, I can quickly click on the two presenter link, which will take me to the slide what the presenter is presenting right now. Let's just go back to the presenter mode and see what are the options we have over there. So I'm back to my presenter mode. So while I'm presenting the slides to my audience, of course, I can read all the, all the notes on the sides. I can move to different slides by clicking on this arrow. I can also click on the presentation or slide itself to move to the next slide. I can also click on the slides at the bottom to move to different slides. I can click on the grid view to see all of my slides in one place. Another set of great features is about the annotation tools within PowerPoint Live. I have a cursor, a laser pointer, a pen, highlighter, and an eraser. To use any of those tools, you can simply click on the tool itself. And if you double click on the tool, it actually presents you with different options to choose a different color, for example, for the uh, laser pointer. Or if you click on the highlighter, it gives you different options to choose a different color and a thickness of the highlighter. If you click on the eraser, you can actually erase something which you have uh, scribbled with a pen or a highlighter. If you double click or you know if you already got it selected, you can click again. It actually opens up an option to erase everything on the slide. I'm just trying to use a pen. So I'll go ahead and select maybe a blue color. We want the thickness to be five. So because we want to present this slide to a large audience, we might need to select different bits and pieces on the slide. I might want to point on the slides. So you know there are a number of different things you can do on the slides. I also want to highlight something um, in, in green. So I want to highlight the chart title. So I've made some changes. Now I really don't want some of the changes. I can simply click on the eraser and basically just erase this particular content. If I want to erase everything on the slide, I can click back again on the eraser, click on erase all ink on slide. Once you do that, everything is gone. Another great thing about PowerPoint live presentation is that I still have all the Microsoft Teams functionality visible to me. If I want to see who's in the meeting, I can click on the show participants list and I can see who is actually within the meeting. I can click on the show conversations. I can see what everyone is talking about. I just close this window. And if I really want to focus on, on the presentation itself, and if you have a large group of audience um, on your right hand side, which are visible to you, and you really, really want to focus just on your slides or your presentation, you can click on these three dots. 
like more actions and click on focus so once you click on that everything apart from your you know presentation slide and all the tools you have everything else has disappeared from the slide you can concentrate on your slide but the slides will still be visible to your audience your audience are still sitting in the background watching you listening you you know um, seeing what are you marking on the slides but they won't be visible to you because you are in a focus mode if you want to see everything back again if you want to see your audience you can go back to these three little dots or more actions and click on focus again and you will have your view back where you can see all your audience on the on the right hand side of the screen all right in this video we learned about how to use PowerPoint Live for your presentations in Microsoft Teams. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit like and leave comments if you want me to cover any other topics. Consider subscribing to see more videos like this in future. That's it for today. I hope to see you next time.